This was legitimately bad episode. Like, real, real bad. I'm not going to give the details on Ahsoka, but there's this whole discourse that the penultimate episode there was a huge step down. Now, I disagree, and I think it's reasonable to say the quality fell off in a few areas, but overall, I thought it was still pretty consistently strong. But the discourse there makes sense with this episode. This episode is bat crazy stupid in so many ways with so many characters. I was damned confused at the very beginning because there's like this long prequel moment and I was like, wait, did I make a mistake? Am I looking at season one? Because I was like, I was genuinely like, wait, am I seeing season one deleted scenes? I'm, did I make a mistake? And it's like, no, that's real. Okay, so we get this backstory, which allegedly has a payoff at the end with Moraine. But really, you're like, what? What are we doing here? And then when they explain it, it leads to an insane moment at the end, which is like, okay, it was fancy, it was shot well, it was performed well, but it really literally nullified most of the season and really raises a lot of problems in question. And not to mention that where things were good in this episode, it was really just the minor characters having some pretty good heart-to-heart -heart moments, but those are very few. And even those raise a lot of problems and questions. Like there's a moment where these two women who should be very vulnerable, they just pull in an ally and it's a great moment, but you're like, how did you just do that? Is nobody hearing your conversation? This guy should be huge. This guy should stick out. So he's like, hey, that insanely tall guy, he just disappeared. Wouldn't that be noticeable? Yeah, this is all kinds of insanity. I mean, this makes Rise of Skywalker look like peak narrative. So many contrivances, so many insane things happening, but good or bad, J.J. Abrams spent enough time that it's believable that Kylo and Rey might trust one another. But here, no, it's ridiculous. Like, people are just teaming up who should not be teeming up. And the team-ups, when they did happen, that at least seemed plausible, were shot horribly. Like, you could literally not see what's happening. They were bathed in darkness. Literally, like, you could not see things in this episode. You could not understand things. Things just happened really quickly, really fast. Like, entire characters just radically shift for no reason. They just do. And what exactly is the plan of the villains? Because they are at least were charismatic and charming this episode, but really it's like, the plan seems to be improvised per episode, and for a while that seemed okay, but maybe has an ultimate goal, but no, now it's just, we're just gonna jump into this unknown for final battle. I'm giving this a 6 out of 10. I think I'm being way too nice. This thing was just horrible. It looked fine, but the story has nosedived into insane stupidity.